What's up funky people, I'm Iteration Funk and today we're back in Animatica 2 Expert Mode. And I did do some stuff since the last episode. I hooked up another automated workbench to do the iron mechanical component from Immersive Engineering, of course. And yeah, I have a plan about that, but first let's take a look in our basement here. So I hooked up some more mechanism stuff, uh, mainly for, <laughs> you know, mainly for auto smelting this stuff from our nether rack sifter. And I also hooked up some more compacting drawers here for all of that stuff, for example magnesium, uh, lithium, boron and thorium. We take a look at ingots now. We have a decent supply of ardite and cobalt. You know, we also get thorium and boron. It's <laughs> we got a lot of nuclear growth stuff, so we're pretty much pretty close to being able to having the materials we need for a fusion reactor. But I've noticed lately that we're kind of falling be falling behind on our power situation. And am I running any jobs now? Why are you taking so much now? It's uh, it kind of wa varies a bit. I guess you're trying to fill this guy now. But anyways, you also need a pretty large amount of RF to kick off the fusion reactor when you first set it up. So I think we're going to look into some alternative power gen uh, instead of the gas burning generators. Now the gas burning generators uh, goes through like 24 millibuckets I think per tick and they don't do that much power for that. For example I think an advanced generator from advanced generators or a gas turbine from advanced generators is a lot more efficient than this. And now that we're sifting for you know, all of the nether ores and stuff, we can do a lot of these manulin turbines and it's not even that expensive for us, so we could pretty much cap. Uh, you can have 50 of them, you can see in the tooltip 1 to 50 of the turbines. So I think that's what we're going to try and do. Now let's set up auto crafting for manulin first here. We need one Ardite and one Cobalt and then I need to go fix that up so we actually can get that ingot. There we go and we can grab a few of those. I think we get, we get one or two. We get one, okay. That's good to know. We can set that up come back over here and put it here man this is almost all we can do tough alloy steel and some stuff that we need but yeah we might need another one soon so we should should order up around 600 of this stuff i think we probably need that to make 50 turbines i think we need 11 11 manulin for each turbine rotor. We get 4 or 5 ingots. We need 2 sets, so that's 10 plus this in the middle, that's 11. And we need 50, so it's around 550 manulin. And I'm not sure if you can hear it in the background, but there's a leaf blower going on, so hopefully that won't ruin the footage in any way. Okay, so. We need a gas turbine controller. And I did hook up automation for iron frames, which is pretty easy. And that's why I wanted these mechanical components automated with iron rods, iron bars and uh, the component. And I did automate the rods in our presses. So getting some of this stuff should be pretty easy. Now this middle part is a bit more tricky. We need a genetics processor from Gendustry. So that means we need any advanced circuits, these printed en engineering circuits that... Okay, not the finished product then. 
and these pure nether quartz. Seems like we can't put quartz in the Richmond chamber, we actually need to craft the seeds. So, how oh, can I crush that up maybe? And yeah, that should work. We just need a few of those seeds. There we go. And we should have a enricher up here. Just gonna grab a few of those. And then I think we have the rest in our system. To be honest, it shouldn't be... Yeah. That wasn't that bad. And we're missing the elite control circuit. Let's make a few. And this guy is pretty much dying because we are using up all of our energy pretty much all of the time now. But at least we should be able to make this guy. And this controller is the base of our advanced generator multi-block. Then we want some sort of power emitter to get the energy out, which in our case is forge energy. Uh, I'm not sure if flux would work, but probably not. So we need, the expensive part here is that top thing, which is a power IO module. So we have these ingots in plenty and man, that leaf blower is going hard, but let's keep going here. We need energy cube and bronze gear. So, can I even make bronze gears? No, maybe we should add that to the list. How many? Uh, you don't have that many recipes yet. We could hook up another... Um, mm -hmm. So, that's four bronze. We're gonna need a few. I wonder if the manualing is done. Yeah, it looks like it. So we just need four of these suckers and put that there, then actually need a gear, wait. I wonder if, can you craft the gears in this pack? Maybe I confuse it with Sky Adventures because you do, could, I mean it would be a bit easy if you could craft the gears. Bronze gear? Yeah, we can craft it good, that would be embarrassing. <laughs> okay, so. Let's just like toss this here. Maybe a bit higher. There we go. So bronze gear. And that should be that. Now I just need to stick that in here. And one additional benefit to the gas turbine is that it does not make this much sound. Now let's make a few. Oh, I needed a lot of bronze for that. We also needed the cube. So, let's see here. Should be able to make one maybe. Oh yeah, we can do that. Ah. Uh, okay, so we need enriched alloys. I didn't know that J.I back history did go across like sessions. I thought you could only scroll back like if I pressed R here that this would be the last item but I can actually press back into the previous session which is pretty cool. And okay what did we want? We want one of the cubes. Come on. Oh, I see. I see how it is. I need to put that in manually. Uh, I guess I made, made another one. Put the cube in, we get our power module, then we can make power IO module. And then we should be able to make this port. So we have two parts, now we need a gas intake valve. This should be easier. Because we're gonna run this sucker on Ephelina as well. We might... Yeah, I only need one to be honest. That was a bit of a waste. Now we can also... Maybe want one of these just to have 
bit of a fuel tank buffer, but no more than one, I think. Then we want a fuel air mixer as well as a gas mix compressor so we have that fuel efficiency. And that requires these dy dynamic valves. I'll just make a few of those and then we need a circuit I think. And that should be that, we just need a few 16 maybe. We will our mixer pressure valve. Can make one of those. We will our mixer. Then the gas mixer requires two of these, which is the regular one surrounded with mixed alloy. I guess we need a few more of those than two. And two. Okay, not too bad. So this will increase the fuel efficiency so that it takes less to produce the energy. But we need both. As you see, this one requires fuel air mixer. Now, I think we only need turbines, to be honest. So, let's make a few here. And we probably need, like most of these will be this. How many can we make? Oh, that's nuggets. Not the nuggets. I assume it would be something like this. That's 48. Oh, we need two more. So something like this. And that's 50. So that's our 50 turbines. I wonder how many we can do. We need more of these. We can reuse these. I just need to put them in manually. Uh, 64. Let's see. We need... About two stacks of this stuff. Can put that in. And then we need let's see how many can we make? 40. Okay, we can make 31 turbines for now. What are we missing for this? Sticks, I guess. So I had an ID, a little off tangent here, that we set up automation for these sticks. They are used in a lot of recipes and I had, it was low-key annoying that we needed so much of it. So let's move all of this and I take this take this drawer with me as well. My plan for now is just to put it like back here. We have some power here and we can make some space for this stuff. So, we'll just bring some power over here. And let's see, that's four squeezers. I think we'll stack them tall. Uh, and let me just. There we go. Should be good. Hopefully, it will be in our direction. Give me my axe. And I misplaced my hatchet for some reason, but we have this dark axe for now. So these squeezers need to be filled with seeds. So I guess that goes up here. And it will probably only accept seeds. We don't need any filters or anything. I need more item conduits. Have I used that many? Let's give it a go then. Okay. So you're extract, you are insert, and I need to use the conduit probe more because it's actually pretty darn handy. If you do round robin, and we have pretty much, we have a lot of speed upgrades, so I'm going to give you four. Oh, and yeah, you needed the power. That seems a bit picky. And you're doing good. This doesn't take a lot. So we're making seed oil here. Then all of that will go into one carpenter. That should be enough. 
And yeah, you want energy as well. Maybe I'll do that back here. Energy. Then we need fluid. And let's put this away. Fluid conduits. Just gonna pipe that all out. Yeah, that's clearing. And this is receiving some seed oil. So, yeah. This is gonna do sticks. We just need to refill it with wood now and again. But yeah, I'm sure we'll get a buy on 31 turbines for now. And where's my gauge? I need to filter ethylene. And let's grab a bucket for good measure. Thank you. Now let's see, can I make more of these? Yeah, some more. Oh, we're actually not that far away. We're out of frames. Let's see. Ah, ah, aha. We actually have 50 now. And in the future, with all of that stick automation, it should be easier to get one of these. So for now, I think we want, I think we want the turbine controller to go here, uh, back here. And then maybe we can fit two turbines in this space or yeah, we maybe want one later. So the thing here, as you can see, there's some leftovers from when I updated the pack and the Ender IO painted stuff broke. But I think we want to have some cabling down here, really. And give me the stone. We need some stone. So let's see. Will the gas intake valve be here, maybe? And we'll have the mixers over here as well. And one power output, I think. And one tank. So this needs at least one turbine to be complete. So now you can see it does 750 RF per tick, because it has one turbine. And this is empty, it doesn't produce anything. Uh, but we need to pipe over ethylene, so that's what we're doing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bring that up here. So that's far enough, then we need a smart cable. As well as a gas exporter. And we set you to doing ethylene. And it's starting to produce power. Now this power will go back to a cell. Uh, let's do this one. You will be in on all sides. So you will take energy from our turbine. We just need a card for you. So you're linked to the rest. And we should have some conduit facades here. Cool. Then I can cover the rest up here. Ah, uh, where's my stairs? <laughs> there we go. Uh, so, <laughs> no, that's the wrong direction. There we go. Now it is this and putting all of the rest away. So that looks pretty good. And you look. For one turbine it takes like one tenth of a millibucket per tick to produce that power. So this is pretty crazy in terms of fuel efficiency. Mm, let's go try and sleep. 
because I don't want it to rain. Okay, so let's build this one out. I think we will do it three tall. And let's hope we can do this so it doesn't look too weird. I'm actually dipping quite a lot of frames. I need to do... Wait, do we have lag goggles? We do not have lag goggles, so I need to install that and see what's actually causing my frame drops. Can we do this? I mean, let's just... Hmm. Maybe we need it to be four tall to get this to be... To look better. Hmm. I mean, that's fine for now. It's gonna look a bit weird. But it does 37.5 thousand RF per tick. And you're struggling to actually... I guess you're filled already. Okay, that's good. Now let's tear down this stuff. I wonder what I'll do here instead. Goodbye gas burning generators. It's nice knowing ya. And you no longer need to be filled. I'll just keep you in the system for now. Uh, wait. We totally need to patch this up. I didn't notice this. Reinforced. Let's just use the full block. And I wonder, do I want to change this up now to maybe only the stone slabs? That looks a bit better. And let me get rid of this cable. We don't need it under here anymore. Now I could do that. Let's do it will look better if we do it with slabs generally. Yeah, this area is pretty clean right now. And hmm, I think we will switch this up now so we don't cycle the power too much. This will not be here anymore. So you will still out with power, but not to a power cell. So instead you will input power from the cell until you're filled, so we have something for our machines and stuff. So yeah, you're maxing input and this should be... It should keep up pretty easily. I wonder if I want to do two smaller generators. That, you know, just looks a bit better. So something like... This does 30. And that's 39 turbines, I think. Yeah, that could be that could be pretty cool. And then I have some extras for the next one we'll make. So you put power in this cube. Now I need to debug my debug my power situation a bit because I have one here as well. So I should probably I should probably remove this and put it over here, so that this help uh, help the whole UU matter thing here. Maybe even here would look better. Yeah. And then I'll just bring up the power again from that uh, power matrix. So let's see. Something like this then and then we need to get the power down yeah so that's hooked up to this and we're no longer cycling power and this is wait are you dropping now I wonder where that is oh yeah I think you know because you're actually you're still feeling this and I bet if we count in how much energy this system takes, plus uh, the input of this, it should should pretty much add up to over 29. 
So I don't know, should I work on making another, another turbine for now? I should probably have one dedicated turbine for powering the fusion controller and all of the various things uh, that we need. For example, we need we need a lot of heavy water to actually get deuterium. So that's we need a like pump to pump that up with a filter, and that can generally get pretty. I think it can get expensive. And. As you can see, this no longer works full time because it doesn't take. It takes. Mm, let's see. It takes around two, maybe two millibuckets per tick. Yeah, this takes around three millibuckets per tick. So that's that's uh, sixty millibuckets per second. So it does cost some ethylene, but it's still way more fuel efficient than the gas burning generators. This is actually quite charming. This is the first time I've played with the uh, advanced generators. And ah, it does it does actually automatically turn that into liquid ethylene even though this is a gas intake valve. This is just ethylene the gas. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'm amazed. And this system isn't this system isn't fully complete because this will start working when when it actually hits the stack cap of 64. So we should probably pipe it out to a drawer or something. This is a very, very basic setup that doesn't really tie into our ME network. But yeah, I'm not sure if I want to do that if we're being honest. So let's just grab some sort of uh, drawer here. I don't want that large of a drawer. I'm always crafting these, so let's make a few. Extract. Insert. Yeah. So that's more that's more like it. Just gonna make sure you get all the wood you could want. Ah, yeah. I know this area is a mess. It is it isn't like a pretty area. It's like the ugly Ugly underworkings of our operation. But yeah, I think this power solution feels a lot more sustainable than what we earlier had, and we can run multiple, uh, we can run multiple gas turbines on just one PRC, I think. And if I needed two PRCs, that wouldn't be the end of the world. But I think this will be pretty darn cool. Anyways, bit of a shorter episode today. We made our gateway power system that will help us, you know, initially power the fusion reactor. And I think, I think it should be enough. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you really enjoyed the episode, you can hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Take care and stay funky.